Okay, so I'm going to construct the in center of this acute triangle, and the in center comes from the angle bisectors. So remember to bisect an angle, we start with the vertex of the uh, triangle. So we'll just pretend like this is an angle rather than a triangle. So the vertex of the angle is where the tip of the compass goes. You want to make an arc that's open a comfortable amount, and then from that point, make sure your compass is open enough that it's about half the, more than half the width of the angle. Make an arc from that point, and then make an arc from that point. And that X you just created, and the vertex will be the two points that you need to draw your line. So, through those two points, we'll have one angle bisector. Okay, and we're going to go on each angle. So, through this angle, make an arc. You can change the setting from the first arc to the second and third arc if you want. So I'm going to pull that in a bit. Arc there. From this vertex, or point of intersection, another X. Through that point and through the vertex, we're going to draw another angle bisector. And then for our last angle, Make an arc. Arc there. From this point of intersection, arc. And then through this point and through the vertex, we'll have this angle bisector. Now remember that the angle bisectors are concurrent, which means they all intersect in a single point. The point that we just found right there is called the in center. So this is an acute triangle, but the in center, it lies on the inside of the triangle all the time. So it's going to be on the inside, whether it's an acute obtuse or a right triangle. Now for um, the in center, it's called the in center because it's the center of an inscribed circle. So in order to get this circle, we put the tip of the compass at the in center, but it's hard to kind of figure out quite how big to make the radius because sometimes our circle won't fit exactly inside because we, it, it's hard for us to tell where the, um, the radius should be set to. So what we're going to do is construct, remember that the radius is supposed to be the perpendicular distance to the side. So this distance perpendicular to the side, and this distance perpendicular to the side, and this distance perpendicular to the side should all be the same. So we're now going to use the construction of make it uh, perpendicular from a point to a line so that we can tell what the radius should be. So from the in center, we're going to do the construction that we use on the ortho center video. And make an arc that hits the line in two places. And then from that point of intersection, little arc. From this point of intersection, little arc. And I'm just going to draw the radius length between those two points. So I'm going to make it dotted just so it's easier to kind of spot it from all the other segments that are there. Okay, so that would be the radius of the circle. So now when you go to construct your circle that's inscribed, the center of the circle will be the in center. But we're going to make the setting for the compass. I'm going to pull that in to the end point of this segment. So that right there is the radius of our circle. So I'm going to use oops, I'm going to use that setting for the radius, and then when I swing around the circle, it should stay exactly inside, and it's only touching the triangle at the points where the perpendicular would hit. So that means the perpendicular would hit right there, and the perpendicular would hit right there. So now we have an inscribed circle inside of our triangle. And again, the in-center is always inside the triangle.